Welcome back. So let's start with the nation. Rising deficit, low revenue raise concerns over 2023 budget. Floods wash away 15 million US dollars rice farm. Communities submerge. Unions settle for battle over plan to privatize. TCN by government. Why 30% of prison inmates should be freed by Aribushala? Price crisis worsen inflation. Rate soars to 21%. South South Southeast APC joggers from Bielsa to Lagos hit Ondo. Wike Makinde Autumn to Sean Atiku campaign launch. You can't intimidate me, Benue Governor tells Ayu. Party chair, not neutral. Lagos rises for Tinubu Shetima Songwolu. Buhari to attend Debbie's inauguration as transition president in Chad. What stories do we have in the nation? Okay, so the picture story in the nation. So yesterday, the parks, the chairperson, Lagos Parks and Garages um, parks Association Management. management. Mm. Um, uh, Musli Akisoya, that's uh, popularly known as MCO Luomo, led a five million march for the APC presidential candidate and all candidates within Lagos, as well as um, the presidential candidate in the country. All candidates running for several offices to raise awareness, and in attendance was, you know, um, all a lot of, let me not say all, a lot of actors, actresses. Mm. They combed from. They took a, the Teslim Balogun st uh, Stadium and walked all the way in Lagos. It was massive yesterday, and I hope that you know other rallies and works like that will be as peaceful as I saw it online as well as covered by the nation. But it was so massive. Um, that's it. That's the story. I sense a hope in the democracy mm -hmm. that we can all come out. You just choose who you want to vote for. Yes. Go out we peacefully. Increase participation because yeah. there's both, both, all sides are are raising numbers, yeah. and that would mean mm -hmm. we have less voter apathy. And mm -hmm. the last result was huge voter. Yes, apathy. we have 80 million voters registered. Mm. Um, PVC is collected as well, according to yeah. NAVDAC. So this, we have 80 million guaranteed votes that we're looking at this. Um, and we election. hope to get at least 50% yeah, show up. Some people have collected their yes, PVC yes. Yes. Yeah. So I want to take the story of price increase. Um, price increase is going to worsen. Predictions, according to financial and economic experts, are saying that from Bismarck Rwan of um, financial derivatives company to Cordon Capital, also saying that the based on the current inflation rate, which is 20.52%, 20 which is the highest inflation we've had in 17 years, it is still going to go up. Mm. Prediction is that basic cost of food items are getting more and more beyond the reach of average Nigerians and that it's about to get worse. According to their prediction, consumer price index, which is the one that influences the cost of everyday expense, is even going to rise by 66 basic points and will be having prices of over 21% um, inflation on those basic food items. Mm -hmm. Now, when I read this from experts, I'm wondering what is our government going to do? We're still creating a budget that we're borrowing against. It doesn't look like Is there a plan like to this. take us out of yes. this? And, you know, Christmas is coming now. Huh. So, um, we have, I have the story of the flood. So, um, $15 million worth of rice washed away, according to this story. This story takes a complete um, um, look at all the areas flood affected. Said that um, areas like Delta, Imo, Bayelsa, Rivers, Kogi, and um, farms in, due to the dam opening, the Lag Lagdo Dam in Cameroon, there was flood in these areas. And I got videos from Isako Central in my own wow. area where I'm from in Edo. It was bad, houses buried, two story. Buildings, buildings buried, buried in water. Whoa. And we also farm rice in that area. And so flood affected. But this mm. um, um, report in the nation talked about farms, Olam rice farmland in um, Rukubi, Doma, local government area of Nasarawa State lost over 50, in a 4,000, 4,500 hectares mm. of rice farm. $15 million, million dollar worth of rice washed away. Oh That's not only the uh, amount, they washed away um, infrastructure like dikes, canals, things worth $8 million. The losses suffered across board. The story also carried that Peter Obi has reached out to commensurate with people who've lost their livelihoods and lives at the, uh, in the flood in, seven, in Imo. Mm. 17 Imo communities were you know, displaced, 3,000 people displaced. 
17 more communities raised uh, Rabi, sacked by the floods as well. Mm -hmm. Yobe also, you know, Nema has uh, the account of it. In Delta states, five local governments affected by the flood. This is nationwide. This is mm -hmm. a national emergency. I'm here to hear the Minister for Agriculture talk about what it's happening. Are going to I'm here to hear the President issue an immediate because it's like insecurity oh, yeah, so. prevents yeah. to prevent this from crisis this because they're getting certainly into and this is rice shortage. as we see now we're selling rice at thirty thousand naira 50 kg bags for local rice i bought for 40. i said 30 sorry thirty eight thousand naira 50 kg bags of local rice now as we speak now so imagine what it will be because the farmers have months. lost livelihoods and what things are going to be there's no party <sighs> okay really let's sad. move on now to the punch Federal government borrowed 22 trillion. Foreign education gulped 609 million dollars. CBN. Muslim Muslim, aggrieved APC Christians to dump Tinubu Shatima. Controversy surrounds alleged release of 101 Boko Haram terrorists. Presidency, Atiku governors, Ayu begin campaign in Uyo. Forex scarcity hits gas suppliers. Price hike imminent. Dangote, shareholders knock Kogi, group alleges exploitation. Federal government plans 1.35 trillion war chest against Boko Haram and bandits. To acquire fighter jets, ammunition, budgets 1 billion for terrorist prosecution. IG embarks on road patrol in northern states, promises adequate security. NDLEA seizes 1 billion tramadol at Lagos airport. Hoodlums rape Quara Varsity students arrested with 87 phones. Internet frosters contact Facebook harbourless dismember man for ritual. What stories do we have in the punch? Okay, okay. let me take Dangote quickly. So, um, Kogi State Government, as we know, over the past week, shut down Dangote Cement in Obajana, and you know they are claiming well, ownership. Impact. They are claiming ownership of that um, um, infrastructure, the, the investment there. They're saying that Dangote should come forward with his papers. I expect mm -hmm. that by now, Dangote should have gone that to court. That presented the papers. But he hasn't gone to court, to, you know, to forestall mm -hmm. any of the harassment they're gone claiming. Gone to court, he should present the papers first now. Eh, to who now? He goes to court and establish and But court, it's the state mm -hmm. that is asking him to eh, present but, the court that he will use to... Well, if you, even if he was going to present it to the state, by okay. now he should have gone to court. First of all, but get an injunction to stop the abuses by the office. Yeah. But the president of the Association for the Advancement of the Rights of Shareholders and some other, I think NANS as well, are, you know, against the government, saying that, you know, you ca um, according to the spokesperson for that, for the Shareholders Association, Dr. Omar Farouk, he says that um, the, the government cannot create employment opportunities and economic empowerment for the local uh, community in Obajana, yet they went to shut down. A, 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 such an investment, and I'm wondering, is creating employment for them. Hmm. If Dangote legitimately bought that investment, we don't have any issues. Issue. So let's not join issues here. Hmm. He's an investor. He has a property, a business. There by now, he should be in court. Let's not petty. Drop the issue. Sentiment. I, I am sure even amazed. Are you sure he's not in court though? I hope so. I hope so. I've not heard any of that. I am amazed that the government is just shutting down that. That, that, that exactly. So it shows fishy. which hunting. Uh -uh. They may have but just been if, wake, if They have they legitimate have grounds. Up. It's possible that you yeah. just realize you're you're yeah. checking your books. It's time to sign Honestly. out and then you wake Honestly. up. Now when you want yeah. sign out, and now when you want sign out, which? Yeah. Let's take a short break. When we come back, the newspaper reviews continue. Stay with us. Thanks for staying with us. So, so I need to take the, this, econo this economy, mm. <laughs> the economy, oh my goodness. As in, so there is um, likely going to be, due to the forex scarcity, all of us know forex is not available. There's going to be price increase in gas. Mm. We misplaced priority case again. According to the National Operator, Operations Controller of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, that's Ipman, Mike Osatuyi, he chatted with, um, had a chat with, punch yesterday and he explained why gas prices will go up that the people that are buying gas into this country are buying dollar at the local black market rates so he said um about a month ago it took 11 million naira to buy 20 20 000 metric tons of gas mm. but that same 20 metric tons now cost 12.3 12.3 12 million naira. So they buy so it at a the black market and it's, black market it's more expensive, it's right? More expensive. So why isn't the CBN mm -mm. giving we are an opportunity giving it to for them to buy? We are going to school. Oh, abroad. you see the problem? Dollar is going to school 
for those that are abroad. Mm. But we are not. We're not giving to our local businessmen to grow our economy. You see the so problem? Rice is going to be expensive. Gas, gas is expensive. expensive. Not going to be top. Where I bought rice forty thousand naira last year. Top where you never buy gas. I never buy. Never rice. buy gas. Gas. I buy ten thousand. Never buy rice. rice I, my life has finished. I need to buy they rice. To, I didn't know why they were rushing my rice. I didn't know that prices had gone up. We will eat yam this Christmas. People should get ready. We will eat yam. We will boil it. We will roast it. We will fry. So the economy, we, we need to sit to up. Rise. So part of the story also meant that that um, the, the, there's a lot, they say feed gas constraints and high maintenance activity are part of the causes as well. So, um, the expert also cited that NLNG six train bonnie plant had dropped to 16.8 million tons in 2021 from 20 million tons. So the production is dropping because of, of course, we know bunkery as well as Demand that is increasing and forex is scarce. Just a painful so here we story. Are. So police operatives from the Kwara State Command on Sunday said they arrested three suspects who allegedly robbed and raped some female students of the uh, Kwara State University, Malete, in the Moro local government area of um, Kwara State. So the suspects are Ridwan Abdul Fatai, Ibrahim Akorode, 25. Ridwan is 20 years old. Aliyu Apalado, 25. All from OK, former area in Ilori. And um, they got um, some of the students, female students, complained to the police that um, they had um, robbers come into their hostel, raped them, and carted away with their oh properties. And so the police carried out an investigation, clamped down on the robbers. They arrested one, two of them escaped. And um, with investigation, they were able to get the remaining two. And they recovered a lot of things. They had 19 iPhones, six handsets, three iPhone uh, 11, uh, 16 iPhone 6 Plus, plus five iPhone XR and other telephone handsets, altogether totaling 87 handsets, 10 laptops, hmm. two television sets were recovered amongst other things. Let's quickly move on to the sun. Clergy's wife, two children, two sisters found dead in Enugu. Gridlock as Lagos NURTW rallies for Tinubu. 2023 presidency, Dogara, Babache, Muslim leaders adopt consensus candidates. NDLEA intercepts 2.4 million tramadol at Lagos Airport. NAVDAC warns against four deadly cough syrups in circulation. Gunmen kill DSP, inspector, community leader, nine others in Plateau, Imo, Inugu. Abduct four farmers in Oyo Farm Settlement. Abia to relocate phone dealers to new markets in January. APC to release amended campaign council list this week. Kogi students, Dangote shareholders, differ on developments at Obajana Cement Factory. What stories do we have in the sun? Navdak. Okay, so, um, Navdak has raised alarm over this four cough syrup uh, named as Promethazine <coughs> Oral Solution, Cofemax, Cofex Malin, baby cough syrup, Mac Cough, baby cough syrup, and Maghrib and, and Cold Syrup. Uh, Navdak is warning us that 63 children have so far died following the use of the four substandard cough syrups as reported by the WHO. And this happened, you know, of course, the one that is circulating in Gambia with the possibility of finding its way here. They're warning us to, as parents, to stay off it. I, said, I heard someone criticize the importers. Navdak and say, <coughs> is it just warning? It should be already be at the border stemming importation of... Yes. Uh, you know, but we know yeah, Nigerians, sometimes they, will bring it they traffic in. these things. Mm. So now that you know, they have told you the name of the drugs. We check. In fact, these cough syrups were made in India. Personally, stay mm. off India produced drugs for now. For now. Because Which they should have been regulated America? in India. Which one do you now buy? Massive. You, if India you, if you uh, drugs too are much, cheaper. A cough is a viral infection. Give they it some ginger, time. Mm. And give your children a lot of water. Ginger, garlic. If you don't even want to let the people also buy ginger. We but don't I was, I was, when I read the story, Play I was thinking, so this can happen child. in a place like Gambia. Mm -hmm. Is it that the enough dark there did not check? Because they're supposed to check before it's released. Into the, into let's the even society. blame India, where the production happens. That was what Dora Kuili did. She yes. went to the source. Yes. From and the source, your, your, uh, your regulation should have made sure that there are no such substandard factories producing medicine for anybody in the world. Sure. Instead of even importing it out, and we're talking about NAFDAQ here, you shall go. When you get to pharmacy, <laughs> make sure it's a registered pharmacy you are buying from. Okay. Exactly. So, That's go another ahead. place to get it. So, um, really sad story <laughs> happened um, in Imo State. A deputy, a DSP, um, and inspector attached to Umuna Divisional Police Headquarters Umunna. in 
Umunna Divisional Police Headquarters in Imo, Imo State was killed by gunmen. Mm. It was learned that the deceased police officer um, was on a stop and search in front of the Divisional Headquarters right in front of his office and was gone down by men that were wearing military uniform. Mm -hmm. They were operating in a black Hilux vehicle and they immediately sped off. It was also gathered that the incident had caused pandemonium in the locality as other mo motorists abandoned their own vehicles trying to get safety. Um, people were saying that the police officer blocked the road in stop and search, but the, uh, the Hilux, there were unknown men, people in the Hilux van, about five of them in military uniform, but they were not actually soldiers, but were bandits. They now opened fire on the police officers. Um, he also added the, the it, people, it generally caused a lot of challenge within the area. I'm, I'm, I'm really worried because now you're looking at, if you're, if you're, if you're looking at someone wearing a military camouflage, you're, you you're should not be sure. safe. Yeah. You now know, but now sure. you're worried. You don't know if he's an armed robber, you don't know anything. So Abia State Government has directed dealers on telephone and his accessories to relocate to the newly built GSM market at Eche Road, Aba, from January 1, 2023. According to the Commissioner for Trade and Investment, John Oki Kalu, he disclosed this during a meeting with the telephone dealers in Aba, explaining that the new markets uh, work has been 90% completed, so they should get ready to move. Then he also said they have a rehabilitated Ngwa Road, which leads to the new markets, and work will still soon commence on other links uh, to the market road, so that it makes easy for, you know, uh, commuters who are going there. Then he um, gave a warning. He said that... Um, they will no longer tolerate the conversion of residential buildings along St. Michael's Hospital, Pound Park, and Jubilee Roads into shops by telephone dealers. The plan basically is to ensure that they have specified uh, specific markets for sp some products. So, you know, this is GSM village, this is another village and all that, and the government has tried to do that for them. So let's move on to the vanguard. Omehia, wicked displaying punitive arrogance, hmm. all theft. 42 more tapping points uncovered in Delta by Elsa. 400 billion goods rot away over demorage, shipping costs. I hope somebody has a story. Uh, we've taken NAVDAC. I was a victim of corruption fighting back. Mago, ex-EFCC chairman. PDP crisis. Atiku has moved on without wiki. Others. PCC source. Government attack police station. Kill cops. Others in Enugu. Oshun police snapped two suspected Yahoo boys for kidnapping and killing 40-year-old man for money ritual. MC Oluomo shuts down Lagos for Tinubu, Shetima, Sanwolu with 5 million man solidarity work. What stories okay. do we have in the background? The Vanguard? twist in the River State um, the listing of a former governor as former governor. Um, Tony Eko, the, presidential, the governorship candidate, gubernatorial candidate of the APC, has you know, called out the governor of uh, River State, uh, Governor Wiki, his campaign team, and spokesperson, Mr. Shogbeye Eli, chided the governor on his recent, um, what he calls his recent Macabre dance, <coughs> and also his rubber stamp house of assembly, Macabre. delisting uh, Celeste Omeya as former governor. They said that, yes, Omeya had lost at the High Court, at the Supreme Court to Amechi, and he, Amechi throughout his four, uh, eight years did not recognize Omeya as the governor, never paid him any amount of money, but we here, within a month of taking over office, decided that Omiya was due to be uh, recognized as former governor. He's the one that paid, he's, he's the one, the one that recognized him. And now that things are falling apart for them, he decided to use the same rubber stamp Politics. house of assembly. This is so ridiculous <laughs> and annoying <laughs> to, to be the same one who now recognized the Omiya and then said, you know, unrecognized him and asked him to pay back what he's been so entitled. And all this while when Amechi was governor, Omiya took his lost JJJ and went to rest. Mm. But you brought him the honor and then the honor him as well. Again. So the wow. and he's also referred to Wiki passing a, a what he calls a, a an executive order twenty one which restricts his use of public schools for campaigns, saying that he will not be cornered by Wiki and his uh, high handedness. Mm. No so permanent friends, the... no permanent enemies in Yes. yes. That's Same it. the pain, Shai, is <laughs> ah, Go ahead, talk about Major headline. So um, this report was done by Vanguard. Um, they learned that over 7,000 containers have been abandoned at the ports. The total value of the goods abandoned there is worth 400 billion naira. And the reason for this is the difficulty <laughs> in clearing the manual process with which Nigerian Customs Service um, use in checking the vehicle. They said 
uh, manual cargo inspection by the Nigerian Customs Service and the rising cost of clearing associated with corruption and the exchange rates volatility are the main things that have caused this. So every day you're paying um, an approximate uh, 20,000 naira per day for containers while that's from the shipping company, while the ch direct charge from terminal operator is 12,000 naira. So there's difference of about 8,000 naira, and each day is accumulating. They said the total um, of 60 billion demorage has accumulated on some of these goods. Some of them have expired. Mm. Some of them, some people cannot even, the, the goods are no longer relevant. Mm. And you have 7,000 containers sitting down, 2,000 trying to come in, and because of the 7,000, there'll be delay in processing the 2,000, which will then bring about another set of demorage, adding to what is piled up. The, no country can rise if the process of bringing goods in and out of your country is difficult. Yeah. It's, you, you, we cannot rise above our... How do we get the dollars? By exporting. How do we get goods <coughs> to please our country? By importing. If we don't sort out shipping, there's still major crisis going on in the country. Yeah, I don't think we have time to take any more story, but this story caught my attention in The Guardian. Why over 50 million Nigerians are mentally ill by psychiatrists. Mm. So you know, they said today is World Mental Health Day, mm -hmm. and um, psychiatrists have raised the alarm that one in four Nigerians, that is over 50 million Nigerians, are suffering from one mental disorder or the obvious. other. It's all over the world. <laughs> also, there are about 75% of those who need mental health care. They don't have access to it. And Nigeria has 300 psychiatrists to treat about 200 million people. And Africa has one psychiatrist for every 500,000 inhabitants, which is 100 times less than what the World Health Organization you has our pastors are also psychologists. No, no, they are not psychologists. So I don't know how we're going to solve this issue. Are we going to get more people into schools and, you know, and force them to study um, psychology so that they can better we help other life people. coaches who are We do, but people still don't understand the need to approach it's them for your... the pursuit of each person's happiness that this madness comes. Mm. It does make this country worth living. Abi. What is the Yubo? This big, big English. But Yubo people too See what we sit things through now. traffic, coming to work. Yeah. If you reach there, you go down the colossus. It's enough to impress somebody, <laughs> honestly. Thank you so, so much, sad. ladies. Let's take a short break. When we come back, we move on to our hot topics for today. Stay with us.